Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Planting Part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. To the next type of plants that is Phanerogams. So, so far, what was the improvement that we saw in each type of plant? First came Thallophytes. No body differentiation, nothing. Next was Bryophyte. Little bit of body differentiation but hidden reproductive system, uh, no vascular tissues. Third was the pteridophytes, little more improvement. They had um, good body differentiation. They also had vascular tissues present, but their reproductive system was again hidden. So now comes the phanerogams. So let us see what improvement does this bring in. So here body differentiation exists into root, stem and leaves. So we properly see root, stem and leaves. Specialized vascular tissues are also present, okay. Specialized reproductive tissues are present. So yes, that is the improvement here. So till now, we were seeing that the reproductive system was hidden. We were not able to see the reproductive structure of the plant. It was hidden somewhere in the plant. But now we have specialized reproductive tissues which are visible. So it is no more hidden. So they have specialized reproductive tissues. Now, examples of such plants are all the flowering plants which we see. We can actually see the flower and flower is the reproductive part of the plant. Seeds are produced. So, still now we were telling no seeds, no flowers, no fruits. But now we have them all. The seeds are produced there. So, now these phanerogams again are classified into two types based upon how do they reproduce? Now, now, the reproductive system is no more hidden. They have specialized reproductive structures. But again, there are two types of plants, two categories of plants based on what kind of reproductive structures do they have. So the basis of classification was the type of seeds produced. So what type of seeds are produced? So they were classified into two categories, gymnosperms and angiosperms. So these were the two categories. Gymno, the word gymno means naked and sperm means seeds. So that means gymnosperms actually meant naked seeds. And angiosperms meant covered seeds. So those plants which produced naked seeds were gymnosperms and those plants which produced covered seeds were angiosperms. What do I mean by covered seed and naked seed? Have you ever observed a pomegranate? What happens in a pomegranate? Inside the pomegranate you have the seeds. If you take a guava, inside the guava you have the seeds. So the seeds are not naked. The seeds are present inside a covering. And what is that covering? Fruit. So the seeds are present inside the fruit. So they are all covered seeds and they all fall under the category of angiosperms. But when I say gymnosperms, there will be no fruits in gymnosperms. These are naked seeds. Now examples of gymnosperms will be pine trees. Have you ever seen fruits in pine trees? No. So they will have naked seeds. So they are known as gymnosperms. So all flowering plants will fall under the category of angiosperms. So all flowering plants will fall under angiosperms. So now we will discuss gymnosperms and angiosperms in detail one by one. So we will... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.